Welcome back. The starting lineup for the Wolves brought to you by Just Tires. Low prices, fast service. It'll be Wendell Young that gets the nod in net. On defense, Dallas Akins and Dean Melanson up front at center. Steve LaRouche on the right side. Nick Anderson and on the left side, Ryan Noonan. Scratches for the Wolves tonight. Robert Petrovicki and Tom Tilly. 17 skaters for both teams. Wendell Young, 7-7-1 seven, seven, this year with a 3-3-7 three, seven, three, three, seven goals against average. His counterpart, 19-year-old Evgeny Konstantinov, 4-7-2 this year with a 4-0-7 goals against. That includes a victory over the Wolves in the first meeting between these two teams when he made 26 saves and a 5-3 win. They drop the puck and we're underway as the Wolves lob it into the far circle. And right off the faceoff, we're going to have an offside and a stop in play five seconds into the game. Lost it. The Wolves will break back with numbers. Over the line. High slot. Brown lost it. Konstantinov will play it up the middle and out to center ice. Boy, that's a gutsy clear by Konstantinov there, but it was an accurate clear, and that's what you have to do if you're going to make that gamble. Malti out in front. Shoots Konstantinov his first save on a critical shot by Malte as he flashed into the slot. Vipers dump the puck in, and they'll change quickly. Up the left side now, Brown at the red line. He'll feed it ahead. Here's Anderson near point. Shoots deflected behind the net. Back of the net. Kudrak gave it away. Out in front. Back in. They score! Steve LaRouche. That's his sixth goal in the last five games. one nothing Wolves. Well, for Konstantinov, he was left helpless there as Kudrak behind the play. Good offensive penetration by the Wolves, and it creates the turnover there. LaRouche creating the turnover, going from his forehand on the right side, winging it to the backhand, and a very quick release. The backhand shot's the toughest one for the goalie to stop. You never know where it's going. LaRouche very accurate on that backhand shot there. Quick one nothing weave for the Wolves. So the Wolves opening the scoring in the first five and a half minutes of the line right side. Now LaRouche into the right side. One nothing lead. And that should just about do it for the penalty as Seaback will exit the box right now. On the line, high slot, Newton. Right of the net. Now LaRouche walks in back of that wrap around. Cuts it teed off the save and he holds on. 8-17 left here in the first one zip Wolves. This is Chicago Wolves hockey. And speeding the other way is Scott Nickel, the Detroit captain. High slot, Nickel. Fires, bounced out in front. Younger save. Rebound taken by the Wolves. As Gordy Dwyer just scored out of the way. And here we go. It's going to be Melanson and Dwyer out in front of the Wolves net. They're at close quarters. Actually, it's going to be LaPuma. LaPuma with the left. Dwyer with the right. Dwyer switching hands with the left. Now LaPuma trying to get it free. Dwyer with a long-ranging right as his jersey's been pulled up a little bit, and he's got his arm free from his sleeve. Now LaPuma bangs Dwyer against the end boards, and that'll just about do it. Gordy Dwyer, you may remember that name. He got a 23-game suspension for roughing up a linesman in the NHL during the preseason. Kevin and I will bring you back in a moment. 4.03 left here in the first one nothing Wolves. This is Chicago Wolves hockey. Wall. The Wolves can't get it out near point. Jones gave it away to plot a beautiful play and a critical one with Muir open and the Wolves clear. And the reason why that works so well for Dan Plot is he challenges the point on Muir there. If he lets them set up and shoot, they get the opportunity, but he forces the defense to make a play, creates the turnover. The Wolves create another one and they'll pound it down the length of the ice. Constantino will stop it right of his net. And the Wolves short for another minute ten. Buck saucer up the near side, stolen by the Rose. High slot in the Rose. Right circle, Anderson. He scores! The turnover deep comes to Nifty Nick, and in it goes. It's Shorty 2 0 Wolves. Looked like the Wolves were on the power play there, not penalty killing. Wow, watch this as we've got Konstantinov will play the puck. He actually gives the puck away. On a mishandle, LaRose picks up the turnover and a nice behind the back no look pass. Nick Anderson, left shot on the right side, one times it low and right inside the post. And this ad athletic Konstantinov couldn't get over quick enough there. He starts the play with the turnover. LaRose makes it and Anderson finishes it. For Nick Anderson, his 12th, his first shorthanded that leads the team in 18 games. Over the line, left side now, LaRose at the far point. High slot, Anderson shoots, he scores! He rips one far circle, his second shorthanded, 3-0 Wolves! Two goals in 15 seconds. Two 
shorthanded goals in 15 seconds. 3-0 for Chicago. And for Nick Anderson, put that on the highlight reel for the career. He's actually in some pain. His oh, wrist he's is the, hurting him. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just another good, solid play here. In LaRose with the second assist. He outworks Detroit on the boards. He fires a backhand pass. Another one-timer to Anderson. And for Konstantinov, he gets just, um, he has windburn from the puck going by him there. Anderson just ripped that two shorthanded goals, 15 seconds. And with that, he is now tied for the league lead. Over the line, right side, Martins shovels it behind the net. Lapuma hammered against the wall. Buck squirts free to Martins. High. Nick Anderson, center circle. On the line, right side. Noonan. Noonan to the right circle. Noonan to the near point. Melanson shoots. Constantine off the save. Rebound right of the net. Just off the side of the cage by Nick Anderson. Along the near side, Martins. Flips it ahead and out at center ice. Here's Posman. Over the red line. Drives it and he scores from the red line. The Vipers are on the board, 3-1. Well, I uh, don't think Wendell was paying attention to that one. Probably 100 feet away or just a step inside of the red line. And Detroit, just a, an easy clearing to their uh, to Posmic. He fires, takes, you know, the puck rolled and dipped. And that took, you know, I, I, it's hard to fault Wendell on that as the puck rolled. You should never give up a goal from outside the blue line, but that took a skip and a dip right in front of Wendell. He was well outside the crease and completely handcuffed him, much like a, uh, geez, I don't know what, a bunt or a pop-up in baseball. You're just not sure, but he overreacted on the puck with the skip and the dip. So Posmic gets on the board. Actually, oddly enough, at the end of the first, he almost fired one in from back in his own zone. Over the line, left side, now Elitch into the near circle, two on one, fired right of the net, and Young a great stop on in front with Elitch free. Oh, the Wolves break down defensively, but it doesn't cost him. Over the line, right side, now. Melanson remains on the ice, and he'll rip it into the right corner. Wolves in the power play, another 40 seconds. Aikens gets there along the near side, Climber digging for it. High slot, Melanson lost this one as it handcuffed him from LaRose. Look out here, over the line right side. Here's Martins right of the net, shoots, he scores! Short-handed! Well, that's not what we expected. And for Steve Martins, that's his third in five games here. So that's coming down from Tampa Bay. He'll gain some confidence that way. And a tough power play for Melanson as he had given the puck up at the blue line there. And watch, he throws it blindly, an errant pass. His partner beaten to the puck. And for Martins, that'll be an unassisted goal, short-handed. And all of a sudden, we've got a one-goal game here, Judd. Somehow they have given right. an assist to Thomas Ziegler. Well, that's a freebie. And right through the five hole between the legs of uh, Wendell Young, he was out challenging. And Martins fired low right on the ice. Excellent shot on an errant pass by Melanson. Well, the Wolves had given up only two shorties all year, the fewest in the league. They still have the power play for another 15 seconds. Noonan now curls over the line, left side for Aiken's left circle. Aiken up to boards. Dahl just back from Columbus as well after a three-game stint. Came back with the flu. Rough far circle in the Wolves' end. Wolves win another crucial, crucial face-off in their own end. And Malte will tap it up the left side and back into the Detroit zone. Here's Brian Muir behind his net. Muir out of the University of New Hampshire. Up the left side, and he'll lift one back into the wall zone. Goes softly into the slot. Nardella there to get it away from Padola, but can't get it out. Now he'll get an opportunity as Brown made a great check up high. On the line right side, Malte to the right circle. Malte stops far wall. Shoots off the post. They score! Teddy Drury cut to the front, stuffed it home, 4-2 Wolves. Talk about a momentum shifting play right there. Steve Malte will bring the puck through the neutral zone, not with a lot of speed, but very deliberate. You'll see he'll pick the puck up right there from 
Bob Nardelli. He'll stop and set up and watch Drury go to the net on the left. And that's the key right off his skate, off the post, with the presence of mind to tap the puck in off of Konstantinov's skate. Good example of what setting the play up does and going to the net. When you go to the net, good things happen. The puck can hit you, it can deflect. It might even go off your stick once in a while and Drury pokes in the rebound there. And Steve Malte with a great pass to Teddy Drury out front. He feathered that very, very nicely. Nice touch on that pass. Teddy Drury now with four goals in his last three games. Up the left side, here's Clymer over the red line. Poke checked away. And then he'll sweep it into the Wolves zone. Here's Aikens along the near side. Up left wing, out at center ice. Over the red line, he'll power to the left corner. To the far side it comes. Far point, Melanson drills one, blocked. And it comes out to center ice. Noonan battling Dwyer along the far side. Noonan and Dwyer still going at it. And we have a stop and play. There are going to be some penalties here as everybody comes to Noonan's aid with Gordy Dwyer right there. I got a great story after this scrum breaks up. Scotty Nickel grabs Steve LaRouche. The linesman trying to get in there. And finally, things starting to settle. 8.38 left here in the third. 42 Wolves. This is Chicago Wolves hockey. Price. A minute five left here in regulation. 42 Wolves. And it's dumped deep. Constantinov is going to head to the ice for the extra attacker. Young spears it up the near side. Anderson stays with his check and pops out. Beautiful play there. Near circle of his own end. Jones up the middle. Gave it away. Drury feeds. Anderson shoots blocked. 45 seconds left here in regulation. Over the line high slot of Fenisenkov. Deflects into the near corner. Young out the play. It. Drives it up the near side. Anderson stays with the puck along the near side. It's sent over to the far wall. Seaback. Boy, has he been completely out of it this game? I haven't noticed him I, at I, all. That's the first time we've called his name, I think. Absolutely. I haven't He's heard been of him playing, all. apparently. 20 seconds left here in regulation. Of Fenisenkov pops it in. Young. Loves it, pokes it to the far side. Back of the net now, Padolin centers. You want to stop out in front on Ekman. Far point now. The Vipers lose it. Here's Anderson out at center ice. Left side over the red line with the net empty. He'll just turn it back. Although he could go for the hat trick, now he will. As it bounces in, that'll do it. The Chicago Wolves have now won three of their last four. They are back at the 500 mark. The Wolves 6-0-1 when they allow two goals or less this season. That's only the seventh time it has happened. And Wendell, uh, Wendell Young deserves all the congratulations tonight. He was brilliant along with Nick Anderson as the Wolves win at 4-2 over the Vipers. The scoring summary sponsored by Craftsman. Steve Martin's made things more than interesting as the ex-Wolf that we highlighted in the open Scored a shorthanded goal at the 847 mark. His third overall from Thomas Ziegler, but Teddy Drury made the Wolves at least at ease with a goal at 1041. His seventh from Malte and Nardella for the Wolves captain. His first point in two games since returning from Columbus. Wolves win at 4-2 over the Vipers, and we'll have a post-game guest here from the Palace when we return. This is Chicago Wolves Hockey.